hello viewers right so um what i'm going to try to do um now is i'm going to i picked these up um from uh, my local wood turning shop uh john davis wood turning um and i've seen a couple of these um uh these these types of things been done before they're basically wood stains wood staining so um as you can see uh if i just move the camera all of the different wood stains um, that we've got here. So we've got like a yellow, we've got like a blue, uh, royal blue, red, black, orange, green, purple, and white. So um, I'm planning on uh, doing some staining and um, seeing how it comes out, seeing what the effects are. Um, it's um, I've seen some nice pieces made with some wood staining, so uh, I think it might come out quite well. Something to do. I haven't actually done uh, any staining before, so I thought I'd give it a go. Right, so um, I picked up, found this um, uh, blank here. Um, so I thought we'd make it into some kind of vase and do this staining on it. Um, it's only a small one, but I just want to see what the effects are like. I don't want to go and use a really nice big bit of wood and then you know um, it will go wrong so just going to do a little bit of a tester with this um, so first of all we just need to uh, uh, round it off I've got it in the lathe so uh, let's give that a go
Okay, right, so I've been sanding this down, um, and uh, what I did was I put the drill uh, through here, and um, not being paying much attention, uh, which is a bit silly of me, um, I used a larger drill bit than I should have done, and basically it just went right through it, and uh, so that was no good. So, uh, what I've done now is I've uh, basically sanded this down, which was the top until it sort of broke into pieces, um, and I've, I've sort of started just sanded that off there, sanded the top off there, I've drilled through here now with a smaller drill, um, and then uh, what I've uh, done is I've made this a bit smaller, so this actually now fits onto here quite nicely, like that. So what I'm going to do, um, it's actually worked out quite well because I think this will actually be quite a good effect. And if you can see that there, it's just uh, so as you can see, this just uh, now will just uh, pop onto here. So I'll glue that in place. Now it's actually, actually make quite a nice effect, really. To be fair, um, I've just cut this here now, so because this is where my base is going to be. So um, I've just basically cut through there, so I know that that's where I'm going to be finishing um, uh, my work. Uh, I've sanded this back a bit with using uh, quite a coarse um, paper at the moment. I'm using the 80 grit, I think it is. Um, yeah, it's 80 grit. So, um, and, and the thing with, with using this stain, staining this wood, is you, you can't um, finish this off. So you've got to, it's got to be on you've got to put it on to this wood before you put any kind of sanding sealer on it or any wax or anything like that you've got to do that put the stain on um, before any of that so I'm going to glue this up um, and then I'm going to um, shape it around a bit and that will basically make a bit more of an, a feature of the of the piece um, and then uh, I'll come back to start applying the uh, stain okay there we go um, so initially when I glued this on there was a little lift in it but as I started turning it, I started blending it in, um, and to be fair, you can't even tell that that's actually been glued on there now. So um, that's actually quite good. So um, there is a vague line, but you wouldn't even be able to see that, especially when we put the stain on. So there's our little mini vase, um, as you can see. Now what we're going to do is try and apply some of the stain and see how that uh, takes effect to it. Okay, so first up uh, we're going to use a bit of green. Um, and then I'm not going to use paper towel to put this on, I'm going to use um, a bit of rag. And the reason for that is because using a paper towel, it just basically this dye will just soak into it and I'll need loads more of it. So um, I'm going to use a bit of rag. So uh, you don't actually need to use a lot uh, for this. As far as I'm aware, anyway, this is the first time I've done this. I mean, I've just basically um, done a bit of research. So uh, let's see how this goes. Oh, there's a green. Go with a bit of uh, orange now. Let's try the uh, white. I'm going to put a bit of red, which is going to make a bit of pink against the white.
bit of uh, purple. bit of uh, royal blue Right, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swoop over with it with a bit of yellow because apparently yellow is quite a good colour to use so I'm going to just go over the whole <coughs> piece Right, so that's just the first coat, so I'm going to leave that to dry for a bit um, and it needs to sort of soak into the grain, um, I'll leave that to dry. One thing I did fail to mention, uh, which I haven't done, which I've just managed to realise, is you must wear gloves. Um, this stuff really is difficult to get out of your hands, so I've just put my glove on, um, but it's probably a bit too late now, but um, wear gloves guys because um, this stuff is you know stain and it will stain your fingers and you'll be walking around uh, looking quite strange with a lot of um, colors all over your fingers so I'll leave that to dry now and then what we'll do is we'll probably sand it back a little bit just a touch and then we'll apply some more seal this in So you can start to see now what it's going to look like. Um, so this, the stain is blended into the wood and into the grain. Uh, it looks quite nice actually, quite funky. So uh, we'll keep putting a, put a few more coats of shellac on it, sanding sealer, and then we'll probably put some wood wax on it um, and maybe finish it off with some uh, um, maybe some lacquer or something, just to sort of bring out the shine.
Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of the old uh, wood wax on this now. See if we can get it to uh, shine up and seal that stain inside. See that now coming up. It's lovely. I really like that actually. I think that is uh, that's lovely how it just um, stains like that, puts that effect in there. That is really nice. I think what we'll do is we're so it's looking quite nice now. Um, got some really nice colours in it. I'm just going to part this off now and finish the uh, finish the end, um, and then I can uh, wrap up and uh, show you the finished product, which pretty much is there really. But um, yeah, it looks nice. I quite like uh, mixing it up with some colours. Right. Okay. So uh, there's the uh, the finished vase uh, with using the um, coloured sort of stains um, quite nice actually I quite I quite enjoyed doing that I haven't done it before um, and if you can look inside there it looks really nice if you look how nice that's come out you know it really does have a good effect on it sort of thing so you can see a bit back of it so um, yeah it's quite it's quite it's quite cool quite funky I suppose um, something different to do um, put the uh, emblem in there in the back underneath just stain that bit black really um, yeah quite I quite like it um, so I hope you sort of learned something from that or, or enjoyed watching um, if you've done it before I've seen a few um, people do it um, not many though um, I got the stain from John Davis wood turning um, in Stockbridge Hampshire um, but you can pick the stuff up anywhere, really, I think, on eBay and stuff like that. So, yeah, I quite like it. Uh, be a nice little piece set up on the mantel shelf somewhere or a gift for someone. So I uh, hope you enjoyed watching and um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers, guys.